Hello again, this is Christoph from Quake. This time it's about a pivot table and how to fix the fact that a native pivot table does not allow sorting on the fly. Here is a way how to do that. So let me start by creating a brand new pivot table in ClickSense and I'll add two dimensions and two measures. Let's start off with country and sum of sales and then add another row dimension, the customer and another measure, which is, which I want to be count of, count distinct of orders, order ID, uh, ID with capital letters in this case. So you can see now um, when I clicked on the column header, the sort order doesn't change, unlike in the straight table. So let's create a variable real quick. It's call it vpivotsort, or you can call it any other name you like, and go to the custom objects and put the variable input on the screen. This allows, amongst other settings, also to visualize as a group of buttons. Let's assign this to the variable vpivotsort, and you can see that you can put dynamic labels here. What I mean is like the value and label pairs separated by pipe creates multiple buttons with different labels. So one is the value, the digit one. Uh, I replace this now with some sales and I call this sales and I replace the second one with count or distinct order ID as we had before in the pivot and call this number of orders. You can view the full formula in the formula editor. Just be aware when you close the editor, it adds a equal sign at the beginning. So put the whole thing into a text string. So with single quotes. So now what we do, we go back to the sort order of the two dimensions and put sort by expression and put the formula dollar brackets v pivot sort like this. We do that for both dimensions, for customers as well. So turn off the auto sort and check sort by expression, v pivot sort. And now as we click, it will dynamically sort by the column I clicked. I also want to toggle back to the alphabetical order. And all I have to do here is to make an invalid sort formula like null or you can even leave it blank. So start with the tilt sign A to Z. So when I click this, it puts an empty formula and in absence of a sort formula, it toggles back to alphabetical. Now I have all three sort possibilities. Uh, let's turn off the null values, which are irritating here. I also would like to toggle the sort order from ascending to descending. So let's put a minus one times some sales and minus one times count distinct. So which reverts the sort order. And when I click this now, I will get the biggest first. And all I have to do to make alternatively ascending and descending is add two more buttons. So now um, there is a nice trick I'll show you. If you run character map from Windows, you can see the advanced character sets available for the fonts. And there is an up arrow and down arrow which I will copy to the clipboard and use here. Uh, let's break this now into multiple lines to make it better readable. And paste this nice arrows in. Let's duplicate this, put the original formula back in place. So I have I have minus one times some sales and some sales and the same thing for count distinct. I have it minus one times count distinct and I have count distinct. And this creates two more buttons, as you can see here. And as I click the up and down arrow, it reverts the sort order. And now I have all five options like I would want it. Alphabetical or by number. So thanks for watching. And you know, little known fact about me, because all of those digital stuff, I have to compensate this with native instruments. The violin in the back is what my daughter plays and I play the Hammond B3, which is the organ here, uh, which goes like this. 
This is the original Deep Purple sound. Watch more for this to come. Bye.